Hey, it's Cosmic Ray, the quantum mechanic. Sorry I'm late. We're going to fix you up here. We're going to do some DNA molecules by shapes. So let's zoom in a little on the whiteboard here. All we have to do is triangles, diamonds, and now our new one here is going to be the phosphate. Okay, these are our shapes. So, to do the DNA, we're going to have phosphates. The phosphates are stars. To do a star, you've got five bonds. That's a P. Down here, there's going to be another P, right? What do we know about the P's? There's a double bonded O. Out here, we're going to draw it off scale because it doesn't matter out here. O. O. It's going to be an O. And an O, I do believe. So on both sides of the star here, that's going to go up to another O. And see what we're doing already. There's going to be a double bonded O, single bonded O to what we know up here is going to be the elbow. The number five we're doing diamonds black now. to a ribose, which is going to be the sugar, right? So that's the five. Down here, you're going to have a triangle. It's going to be down to that oxygen. And what have we got here? We know that there's a carbon-carbon, a carbon-carbon, because there's only one oxygen in there. And it makes the head of Ricky Ribose. So up here you've got the green, with that, and that. So let's just draw a little smiley face in there, huh? He's happy. So when we look at the carbons, what do we see? Some dots here. This phosphorus here, huh? It's going to have another oxygen going down there, but this oxygen is a key player because where this oxygen is is a single bond, which gives it a negative charge out there. A couple of electrons, which miss one. Okay? So magnesium is actually a metal that fits in because there's going to be another one up here with a minus charge. Well, you can fit a magnesium plus, 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 plus. This is what stabilizes the backbone. This is one of the reasons when DNA is copying is when it takes the chromatin form. That's the only time it goes around these histones and it forms what's called your chromosomes and stuff like that, okay? Well, magnesium keeps these backbones as this circles around stable. So magnesium is a two plus ion. Most people don't realize that, but I'm teaching you stuff nobody else pays attention to. Our ribose here. This is part two. Remember, we know the arm is gonna go up there. We'll try and keep these color coordinated. Arm goes up there. You got ribose, you've got phosphate. There's three parts to DNA. 
three parts to DNA. Phosphate backbones, the ribose sugar. This down here is the controversial one. We'll just put all question mark. You got an OH or not? You've been drinking or not? That carbon little dot. This carbon little dot. That carbon little dot. So see all we're doing is filling in the dots. There's no double bonds. So that's the ribose sugar. Out here is a DNA nuclear base, nucleic acid base. So to show you how this all fits together, I guess we'll draw it here. We'll keep it we'll keep it all in frame. So we know that off the ribose sugar, it always goes to a nitrogen. So we know nitrogen is a triangle. I do believe there was one base that we didn't get to before. That was the adenine. So let's see if the adenine is the one I drew here. Yes, it is. And there might be a mistake on one of these. So we'll just have to find out. We've got a triangle. We know it always goes to a diamond, so we're going to do it red. we got triangle to diamond to diamond. See how simple that is? This is DNA, kids. And then we know, too, that there's going to be, what? A nitrogen on the other side of this, because that's the way that always goes. So there's a triangle. And adenine is one of the double rings. So the ring that it holds here is five. One, two, three, four. There must be a diamond here. Carbon to diamond, carbon to diamond. Now we get the six member ring. So the nitrogens to this, just from memory, because the more we play with these, the double bond here, I know one of these goes to a triangle. If I recall, there's a diamond in between the next. So here's a diamond. To a triangle. And it's a six-member ring, so we've got two, four, five. There's only going to be one diamond in between these. So you can really start comparing these because the single bases with the six in there, if I recall, there's a three-carbon. Oh, it is. It's like backwards. See, here's the three-carbon side and the two nitrogens in between. So this is very distinct how the nitrogens are spread apart. And then what you find over here is... Another triangle up here. So there's a nitrogen hanging off. This is adenine. Let's save our colors here. Sweet adenine. This is what they call a purine because it's the big double ring, so it's got the shorter name. There's pyrimidines for the singles. So this is adenine. And what do we need to do here now? We need to do our double bonds. There's a nitrogen to carbon double bond there. There's a double bond up there. There's a double bond over here. And there's a double bond in here. So there's a lot of aromaticity, as they say. And then when I look, I can look real easy with the colors here, and I go, oh, that carbon needs a dot. This carbon needs a dot, and there's two dots on the triangle. This is adenine. Anyone can draw this stuff. This is the whole part of the DNA molecule, and it's nothing but diamonds, triangles, and circles.